Howdy, partner. Saddle up, because Marshall Stiplin's got a challenge for you. I challenge you to build a Tetapoan Desert Outlaw that has an action feature. But what the ding dang dung heap is a Tetapoan Outlaw, you ask? Hold your horses, I'll tell ya. This character is one of the meanest, baddest rascals in all the desert, and may be wearing the dour colors of this here dry barons. This notorious miscreant is the first villain in the world of Mercy, wanted disassembled or alive. Now let's mosey on over to the wanted poster for the rules. Here are the rules. 30 minutes to build. Nothing pre-assembled and only unaltered official LEGO pieces may be used. Entries must include three angles of the figure, front, side, and rear perspectives. Entries must be submitted on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or YouTube using the hashtag My30MM. You may also email entries to playstippling at gmail.com. You will have through the 15th Eastern Standard Time to submit your entry. For complete contest rules, see the description below. The bounty hunter that captures this low-life delinquent will collect their winnings from Johnny Law, a little rock varmint direct to your homestead, unbuilt with instructions. Now, the rest of you yellow bellies slow to the draw will have your bad eggs posted to the wanted board for all to see. A pretty fair shake if you ask me. Now, city boy Stippling would like a word with you. Hey, thanks mildly cliche cowboy stippling. Last month's creature challenge was a resounding success. Each of you showcased your building talents, creating some of the cutest, strongest, or deadliest creatures imaginable. My work was cut out for me, zeroing in on the ones I wanted to share with you today. But all of you should be proud. There wasn't a single entry that I didn't love, and I saw them all. Here are my top 10 favorite creatures of Ursi. Starting off strong in the number 10 spot is the Agra by Owen. The Agra gives off a distinctly clean flying iguana vibe and would fit perfectly soaring through the jungles of Peona, preying upon smaller insects. I love the clean design of its body and the custom head was brilliantly executed. Well done, Owen. This gorgeous lightning deer, crafted by Below Zero Bricks, shows that you can use more than CCBS parts to achieve a top 10 spot. Below Zero uses a mixture of CCBS and system bricks to perfectly blend the asymmetrical greens and transparent blues. I imagine it would be a great honor for an Ursian to stumble across such a majestic creature. The Storm Singer. Built by Tyronical 545 is sleek and gorgeous. This beautiful bird mixes various transparent colors to glorious effect. I immediately fell in love with its prominent beak and could just hear the cacaws and squawks just by looking at it. Bonus points for feathering those massive trans yellow armor shells so neatly. The Skakarex by Rick Bionicle Mox demonstrates that you do not need Lego pieces at all to compete in this challenge. This imposing scorpion-esque brute would be a formidable foe for any hunter in Tetapo. I admire your usage of the black claws for its face, legs, and stinger. The custom head is beautiful, if not a bit creepy. If Yalgarok needed competition in the Nightmare Fuel Department, the Kremora by Citroen Insta would be it. Part penguin, part scheming demon? This misunderstood critter is surely to frighten the unsuspecting Larakian Islanders. The entire design from head to toe is absolutely superb. Breaking into the top five first is the Scorpio Wasp by Cal. This impressive creature is a two for one, sporting a scorpion mode and a wasp mode. As if that wasn't impressive enough, Scorpio Wasp has an action feature that causes it to strike with its tail. Cal, I'm not sure how you cram so much into such a small figure, but color me impressed. When I first witnessed the beautiful Kiroyal by Kinexi Mox, I knew I was on my maiden voyage into the waters of a masterpiece. Is it a snail? Is it a rhinoceros? This beast of burden would fit perfectly among the swamplands of Dalu, and Kinexi even had the time to build a rider, long tongue, and an insect to eat. That's some fast building, friend.
once again dazzling with an unnamed work of artist Cordex, who created this Canada-inspired creature. I love the chibi stylings of this little guy, including the flowing tufts of brown fur and adorably oversized front paws. You consistently demonstrate that you are a master tier 30-minute mockist. If there was a way for us to compete, you most certainly would win. Lava Bat by Emat is proof that this competition was insanely hard to judge. This glorious Atu and Bat has everything. Exquisite color distribution, transformative wings, and an action feature so exciting that I had to build one to try it out myself. It's incredibly hard to pick just one winner, and this entry further inspires me to find more ways to allow for more people to canonize their creations. Now it's me again, the rootinest tootinest cowboy you ever done saw. Now before we reveal the winner, Let's take a nice look at some of the critters that didn't quite make it to the rodeo. Who keeps letting in that cowboy into the studio? Anyways, let's meet the newest creature of Ursi. This little creature is a huipo, or fog bird. They are found amidst the icy mountains of Iski. Do you see the steam rising from its body? This is caused by the creature's rapid metabolic system. Alas, the huipo has discovered a meal. The creature siphons out floral nectar with its long lanced beak. Look how it pauses to check for predators. The Weepo is now full and has found a safe perch to lower its body temperature for nocturnal hibernation and energy conservation. The Weepo is thought to symbolize vitality and combat prowess amongst the people of Iski. Many warriors proudly adorn their arms and armor with references to this small blue bird. The Huipo, self-titled the Okoto Hummingbird, was created by the aptly named designer Skybird. The bird's compact, iridescent blue design uses magnificently scarce shades of blue blocked impeccably from beak to tail. I enjoy the aerodynamic flow of the figure, achieved through numerous clever techniques, parts, and half pins. Using collision versus gearing to achieve the hummingbird's action feature is truly remarkable and something that I often forget when designing my own figures. Skybird, as soon as you see this video, hit me up on your preferred social media platform so we can coordinate your prize. For everyone else, Skybird has provided us with a showcase of the hummingbird by clicking on the video here. For those aspiring to complete this month's challenge, don't forget to check out the My 30 Minute Mock Challenge video here that will provide you with the timer you need to complete the challenge. Until next time. Yeehaw!